at the end of the National Security Council meeting, preceded over by President Muhammad Buhari on Thursday at the State House Abuja, National Security Advisor NSE Major General Babagana Mongono retired communicated to President Muhammad Buhari's vow to ensure a turnaround in the fortunes in the theater of operations in the Northeast and to do whatever it took to ensure that he did not leave the country in a crisis state at the end of his term of office on May 29, 2023. According to the NSA, the president also expressed readiness to make more changes in the security architecture of the country if warranted. The NSA revealed that the main issues brought to the fore were the successes recorded in the theater of operations in the Northeast owing to the relentless activity of the security agencies and cited the recent unprecedented exodus of persons from the terrorist camp. He attributed the successes to good cooperation, synergy, and intelligence sharing among the armed forces. With the advent of the new service chiefs and inspector general of police, noting that the president was pleased with the bravings he received. In a related development, UN counter-terrorism chief Valdemir Voronko told the Security Council on Thursday at UN headquarters, New York, that terrorist groups such as Al-Qaeda and Islamic State had been exploiting the pandemic to use new technologies, including social medias, to recruit and move into some of the world's most fragile regions. He noted that the world was currently witnessing a rapid evolving situation in Afghanistan, which could have far-reaching implications around the globe. According to the UN chief, the Islamic State of the Greater Sahara has killed several hundred civilians since the beginning of 2021 in Mali, Burkina Faso, and Niger. He also warned that the group's West African province will likely gain from the weakening of Boko Haram with additional spillover of terrorists and foreign fighters from Libya. We commend the gallant and relentless of efforts of Nigerians, security forces, and the intelligence-based successes so far recorded in the Northeast. We, however, want that all hands must be on decks to, you know, to ward off the growing threats from global terrorist groups such as the Islamic State, which appears intent on further destabilizing the West Africa sub-region. Banditry and kidnapping are other major concerns, which the current administration must tackle decisively to allow for improved socio-economic well-being of citizens. What is your thought about this that has been said? What is your own reaction to this present situation? We would like you to drop your thoughts and reaction via the conversation on this that has been said. According to the news, at the end of the national meeting that was preceded over by the President of Nigeria at the State House Abuja, the National Security Advisor NSA Major General Babagana Mongono retired, you know, communicated the President Muhammadu Buhari's vow to ensure a turnaround in the fortune in the theater of operations in the Northeast and to do whatever it took to ensure that he did not leave the country in crisis at the end of his term of office on May 29, 2023. We have heard what has been said by the President through his media aid. We have heard that the President has vowed that he will try as much as possible whatever is going to take from him to ensure that he did not leave office, he did not leave Nigeria, he will not leave the country, you know, in a crisis state at the end of his term of office coming May 29, 2023. 
What is your thought about this? What do you think the president can do to help Nigeria out of this present situation? What strategy do you think the president can put on down that will help get Nigeria out of this insecurity crisis bedeviling the country? We would like you to share your thought with us on this that has been said. We would like you to share your reaction and thought about the conversation on this present development. But before we go, let's see people's reactions and know their thoughts about this. Let's see what people have felt concerning the present situation of things in Nigeria. Peter Smith reacted to this and said, Buhari and Pantami are the head of terrorists in Nigeria and West Africa. I'm sure that they will be working with Taliban to finally take over the whole West Africa. For the Muslims, what is your thought about this? What is your own reaction to what Peter Smith have said? We have heard from Peter Smith saying that Buhari and Pantami are the head of terrorists in Nigeria and in West Africa at large. What is your thought about this? You know, we have had sometimes ago and even presently now, Pantami have turned himself to, you know, terrorist sympathizers. He has turned himself to always sympathize with bandits. And now, according to Peter Smith, saying that Buhari and Pantami are the head of terrorists in Nigeria and the whole of West Africa. Obviously, now these people probably could be working with the Taliban to finally take over the whole West Africa, you know, for the Muslims. What is your thought about this? What is your own reaction to this? Another person here reacted but does not want his name to be mentioned. He spoke, you know, about the present situation of things and said another super story script from Nigeria DVD without lens president improved security indeed. What is your thought about this? Obviously, with what has been happening since the president has become the president of Nigeria, he is not able to do anything concerning the present security crisis by deviling the country. It is now now that he has lesser time, he has lesser months. That is when he is trying to put things together and make sure that Nigeria is in good state even before he leaves office. According to what this person has said, Doho does not want his name to be mentioned, he's saying, this is just another super story script from the Nigerian DVD without lens. You know, he said the president of Nigeria is a DVD without lens. He is trying to improve security indeed. What is your thought about this? What is your own reaction to this? Obviously now, the president is not really part of this country. He is just deceiving us. That is what this person have said, though he does not want his name to be mentioned, but we can see what he has said in his own reaction and thought about this. What is your thought about this? So many people might be thinking that what kind of a man is this president? Where is Buhari coming from? Why do we even vote for him in the first place? Look at what he's saying. How do you intend to, you know, put things together in this, you know, little years you have ahead of you? How do you expect to put things together and make sure that Nigeria is in good state? Looking at the present situation of things in Nigeria. Well, we just hope that all these things will become things of the past and will have a wonderful country of which we have been longing for. Don't forget that the president has vowed to improve security as international terrorists have now started to regroup themselves. Before he leave office, he promised to leave Nigeria at a very good state. What is your thought about this? How do you think this is possible? We would like you to share your thoughts with us on this pain development. Thank you guys for listening. Do subscribe to this channel if you have not. And I will see you on the other news. Bye for now.